Hey everybody, this is Dan for Gamer D on Cars. Now it is a scorching hot Thursday here in Mechanicsburg, but we have an equally scorching hot car to review today. This is a 2021 Lexus LC500 convertible. This is without a doubt one of the best looking cars on sale. It's really like a halo car for Lexus. You know, the LFA isn't made anymore and that was a sort of different type of supercar. But this is pretty much uh, an excellent grand touring car. This has a naturally aspirated five liter V8, 470 horse horsepower 400 foot pounds of torque it'll go 0 to 60 in about 4.6 seconds now really nothing on the road looks like this now this car would compete with cars like the Jaguar F-Type the Mercedes SL which is brand new for 22 and the BMW 8 series but it is beautiful inside and out we're gonna poke around it we're gonna start it up because it sounds absolutely fantastic then we're gonna get this out on the road so let's look at the LC 500 convertible First and foremost, we need to talk about the styling of this car because it is, if I had to describe the styling, I would almost say futuristic and especially in this paint color, which is called liquid platinum, which is just an absolutely beautiful color. By the way, nice colors, nice cars everywhere. Uh, anyway, so the Lexus riding on massive 21 inch wheels, Michelin tires. Now the styling of this is, is definitely reminiscent of what Lexus does with the spindle grill. But these, these headlight surrounds are just very unique. You have your LED right there, almost looks like a Nike, a backwards Nike swoosh. Now this is the turn signal right there. There's your LEDs right there. But I mean, just, just the shape of this headlight, it really looks like a futuristic type of, you know, concept car that is really made uh, into a production car. And just look how long this hood is. It just swoops so far down. I'm, I'm getting used to like the upright windshield and this is just the exact opposite. This angle is just so, uh, great. I mean, it's just a gorgeous looking car and I think the black top looks really good with it too. Now, the same goes for the tail lights. They are just futuristic looking and this is your turn signal right there and the brake lights even have sort of a unique design when you step on them. I'm not sure if I'm that crazy about this sort of chrome detail on the top, but it looks still looks pretty good. Now, this is a convertible fully stowed into the car. So this is what the convertible looks like when it opens up. So not only is this a pretty damn good grand touring car, I mean, it is just beautiful inside and out. And that is really the highlight of this car. I'd say the performance and the sound. is secondary to the looks because nothing looks like this. I mean, a Jaguar F-Type, and I guess you could consider a Porsche 911, BMW 8 Series is also a good looking car, but this I think is the best looking of all of them. I mean, just the tires alone are huge. You've got a nice little side scoop right there to get air in either to cool the brakes. Oh, it's just, that is a typical Lexus uh, design of the lights. But yeah, gorgeous inside and out. And almost like as equally gorgeous as the exterior of this car is, the interior is just the same. But first, let's take a look at the motor. Now, when you open the massive hood, nice little struts right there, but this is sort of, I'm gonna say this is a dying breed. This is a naturally aspirated five liter V8, 470 horsepower, about 400 foot-pounds of torque. Now, everything else in this class is turbocharged. There's a BMW 8 series that has a twin turbo six cylinder in line. Then there's a Porsche 911 that has a six cylinder. The Jaguar F-Type is now only a V8. But yeah, that's supercharged. So this is this is a dying breed, the, the naturally aspirated big motor V8s, and that is sort of a hallmark for Lexus. They really don't go the turbocharged route almost for any of their cars, I don't think, except for the lower uh, four-cylinder models. So yeah, this is uh, gonna be the last of its kind. I think in the future, most Lexuses, Lexi will be you know electrified or hybridized of some sort. I mean, Toyota and Lexus already have hybrid models. You know, that's been their calling card for the last 20, 30 years, but just this thing is big. I mean, just get a look at how big the, the from the A pillar on, it's just a big car. Now my in-laws really prioritize comfort too when they got this car, you know, they used to have a, a Corvette 
they were Corvette owners forever and ever, and they decided to go a different route. But this, this definitely fits them as far as the comfort, because they say this car is better almost as a Grand Tourer, as opposed to like a track car. But yeah, this, this engine looks pretty gorgeous. Lexus always does the nice uh, engine covers and plastic there. But yeah, this is a gorgeous car. All right, let's check out the trunk. Now here's the Lexus key right here. It's sort of like a almost rectangle shape, but if you click and hold this, can open up the rear trunk there's a nice little lc 500 badge so this is a little bit on the smaller end but of course that is what you're going to get but considering this is also a two plus two which will poke in and i'm going to put the top down shortly you definitely have room for space back here now my in-laws drove this car down to florida and back and they said it was unbelievably comfortable you know super compliant ride but yeah you can fit a couple bags in here for luggage uh, but I guess you lose a little bit of space for the top when that stows away. So yeah, that's the uh, trunk. I guess the others are similar, but who cares? This one looks better than them. So, all right, let's take a look at the inside. All right, we're going in the inside of the LC500. Now this door handle is kind of cool. If you press on the left side right there, it gives you a nice little Lexus badge right there on the key and you just push and hold, almost like a Lamborghini Gallardo. Now when you have that open, when the door's locked, this will pop in, but when the doors are unlocked until you get in, there's a nice little Lexus badge right there. So as equally beautiful as the exterior of this car is, the interior is just as good or almost better. So now we have red leather with black inserts everywhere. There's like a darker red on the center console, but just let's just take a minute to appreciate sort of the flowing design of the doors right here. This, this, this door handle, I mean, is that like the most gorgeous designed door handle you've ever seen it's just it's just gorgeous there's no like straight lines it's all very flowing and there's almost two two different colors of red leather now this does have an optional carbon fiber uh door sill right there it says lexus which looks absolutely gorgeous carbon fiber looks really good with this liquid platinum color so let's step on in now i'm gonna keep saying it this this interior i mean nothing nothing is like this interior it is completely unique you've got a nice handle right here there's even two different shades of red you've got the nice bright red on the seats and like the darker red on the console and the doors i mean it's just a gorgeous thing now we do have a 10 speed automatic dual clutch these are nice metal feeling uh paddles just feels very nice to the touch now one thing for with lexus all right now we, we need to start it up because it does sound absolutely fantastic so here we go It like burbles. Just listen to, listen to the idol. I mean, that is, that is the thing of beauty. So now, when we go, look at everything right here. One thing that is really cool, and I'm gonna turn the car off, just wanted to get a start up. Okay, now honestly, one of the coolest features I think I've ever seen on the dash of a car. Now, if you hit this button right here, now this, uh, you have your tachometer in the middle and your miles per hour, and this is a physical dial. It is not a digital screen. If you press this button right here, the whole thing actually moves to the side. I mean, it is a physical dial that moves to the side to show a little bit more information on the left-hand side. I mean, you can just do this at will. I mean, how cool is that? That is just really one of the coolest things I've seen in a while. Now, one interesting thing with the LC, the drive modes are up here. You, you twist them this way and this way, and over here you can go to snow mode and your traction control off, which we're not gonna mess with that. So if you go up to sport mode, the gauges turn a little bit more red. Now there is sport plus. That, that looks like a Lexus LFA type uh, dash right there. I mean, I, I would never get sick of just turning this so it gives you a little bit more information on the left hand side we're gonna put it back into the middle okay so we're gonna go back I'm gonna to toggle this I'm gonna to go back to yeah back to normal mode so we can go down to eco there's comfort or rather okay now one thing that is sort of infuriating about Lexus now by the way this this volume knob this feels like the most solidly built like volume knob I have ever felt in my entire life it almost feels like one of those hi-fi surround sound volume knobs that is just I mean, really superior craftsmanship. Uh, one thing that I've read about Lexus that is sort of frustrating is they all have this trackpad, and that is where you go through different things on the, here, if I go to menu, if you just swipe left on my finger, 
I mean, so if you want to go into change the heated seats, you go to climate. I mean, heated seats, a bunch of different stuff. There's just a million different things to do. It would be nicer to have like a physical button. But this just looks like any typical Lexus, you know, infotainment system that's been around for a while. I do love the classy, you know, digital clock right there. Or sorry, analog clock. And this sort of texture right there. It's almost like glass covered. But I mean, how do you... How do you even come up with a design like this? I mean, there's the vents right here going straight across the interior. Nice looking typical Lexus steering wheel, but I, I just can't get over the design of the doors. I mean, it's just a gorgeous looking car inside and out. Now, like I said, this is a two plus two. I don't think you're really gonna fit anybody. I don't know if you're gonna put your small babies back there, but that is another plus to put your luggage. I know that's what my in-laws did. They put their luggage back there. So, I mean, unique design everywhere. The materials are fantastic, first rate. There's a nice little glove box right there. I mean, this is just a fantastically designed car in and out. I mean, it is worth it for the price of admission alone. The materials feel fantastic. Every every bit of leather that your body touches is nice, soft leather. You're gonna wanna have appointments like this because this car starts at over $100,000 and other cars in this segment are similarly priced, but I mean, this is really where you you're, you spend your money for, the interior to go along with the design. And I'm gonna say it, this is one of the most beautifully designed cars inside and out that I've had the pleasure of reviewing. It's just not one complaint. Just Lexus infotainment system is just a little bit behind a couple years. Like I think the BMW system and the Mercedes system, the uh, MBUX is, is way better than this, but you do have the beautiful design, the wonderful appointments. I mean, this is a gorgeous car inside and out. So let's, let's put the top down. Now to put the top down, we're gonna start up the car. And this little, this is your center console right here that'll slide. And if it goes back, it just so ever so gently slides back in. Now this flip up right here is where you put the top down. We're just gonna hold that button, put some windows down. There we go. Oh, that's a nice looking Bronco. Just look at the engineering that goes into that too. Nice covers up. All right top done so now let's just get an idea of what this thing looks like with the top down there's a nice little wind cover in the back there I mean come on gorgeous all right so this is what the LC 500 convertible looks like with the top down I mean just just the combination of the red leather with the silver paint uh, looks really good I do like the sort of wind buffer right there now another a couple other things to note when you're taking the top down there's a screen right there that tells you the progress of it like there's four little bars like when you get the 50 percent two of them will be lit up that's kind of a nice little touch and it gives you a nice beep uh, when the top is done but also in the winter you can actually get heat that comes out of here you know to keep your neck uh, warm and cool depending on what the weather uh, is like so let's just let's just sink it in I, I just said on my Instagram name a better two-car garage than the LC 500 convertible and the Ford Bronco. Anyway, all right, we're gonna wrap up this video and get this thing out on the road. All right, now that I'm sweating like a pig after doing all my beauty shots, we're gonna wrap up this video of the 2021 Lexus LC500. I had to get my hat on too, it's super sunny. So to sum up this car, it's beautifully designed inside and out. That is a really, the star of the show is the design. Now this is an excellent Grand Tour. Uh, kudos to Lexus for what they did for this car. Now, I don't know what is next on the horizon for cars like this. I don't know if they'll all become six cylinder electrified or all electric, but if this is the last naturally aspirated V8 that Lexus made, they did a really good job. Uh, big thank you to HR and Nancy for letting me take a look at this car. Hopefully we can get this out on the road now. So if this is uh, something that you like and you'd like to see more videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Cars. I'm going to go get a drink. I'll see you on the next one. See ya.